our guest speaker, we're so excited about having him back. He's such a blessing. And I just love spending time with him. We, we caught up with each other recently up in, we actually guys last month, we're in Nashville together and he came up for the day and we, we, we had a great time. Uh, we, man, we had a, such a great time. We got a uh, videotape for the channel. We're so excited about having him back here today. He is just a great, and you know, if I were you guys, if anybody, young people, I would get this out to all the young people, you know, as long as they're 18, 19 and above, show this the video because that gives them an inspiration of what to look for in a leader because a lot of young people are going to drugs this, that way, prison, jail, whatever else, because they don't see a person their age that they can look up to that's leading the charge. Does that make sense? And some of you, you, your grandkids need to see the video. Set them down. Make it a little family outing. Hey, just sit there with some popcorn. I want to show you something. Sure, young man, you can relate to. Man, I'm telling you, use the tools that's in your toolbox. Without further ado, all the way from, uh, I don't know if he's in Florida today. I don't know if he if he's in Maryland today. I don't know if he is in Houston today, hanging out with his son like you talked about. But I am so excited about having him back the month of April. Can we give a warm welcome to regional vice president, none other than Mr. Sha Shaquille Cooper. Thank you. It feels good to be back. Nice seeing you. What is it? Two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Time is moving. Um, and it's always good. Uh, we had a great event. If you guys wasn't at an event, you guys missed out big time. It was a phenomenal event. Um, and it's always a pleasure to be around people like Mr. Thomas, uh, and people that really, you know, pour into individuals, you know. And I got an opportunity from doing this business just to meet so many great people, and it's just been a phenomenal uh journey throughout the whole time I've been here. So real quick for the people that don't know who I am, my name is Shaquille Cooper. Again, I've been involved in ACM for going on 11 years now. No business background, knew nothing about business, but got involved in an opportunity that just made a lot of sense. I didn't have to get too much convinced to do the business because people pay bills and I want to get paid. So when I got started, it just made a lot of sense. Took it really seriously, made a lot of money, lost a lot of money. Built a large team, lost a large team, went back and built it back. And from there, we've been growing phenomenally in probably in like 40 different states now and the business has been phenomenal it's been a great journey but today i just want to have a conversation and if you're not taking notes i would suggest you take notes because the first thing i want to talk about is leading so leading by example right meaning that you got to demonstrate the qualities and the behaviors that you want to see in your team members meaning that you are your team so whenever people said you know hey you know i want a team to do this do that guess what it all starts with you Everything starts with us, right? So you always got to demonstrate by example, meaning that if you want your team to go to a lot of events, guess what you got to do? Go to a lot of events. You want your team to recruit a lot of people? You got to recruit a lot of people. Same with customers. So whatever you do, your team is going to do, right? Lead by example, by actively engaging in the business and demonstrating integrity, resilience, and a strong work ethic. Meaning that if you want all of those things from your team, you got to have the same thing. So again, leading by example. So number one, if you're taking notes, lead by example. Number two, inspire with vision. Paint a compelling vision of the success that you want for your team. And you want to show them how their effort in working the business can transform and change their life. You want to show people what's possible. You want to show people, listen, if you take the business serious, you can have this. Because people always want to know, can I do it? Can I do it? Guess what? The best way to show someone that you get, they could do it is by you first doing it. So when people saw that you have success, guess what happened? They now believe that they can have success. But once they see what comes with the success, it inspires them to go out there and want to build the business bigger than they ever imagined. So for example, myself, a lot of people, when I first started, they saw that, you know, I stopped working at Applebee's and I stopped going to school. So a lot of people was inspired to become an entrepreneur full time. I'm not saying everyone should run out there and become an entrepreneur full time, but by my team seeing me, it inspired them to want to work for themselves. It inspired them to want to build something that one day they can pass down to their kids' kids. So for me, the just the inspiration, the vision, seeing my mentor's lifestyle and seeing those videos back in the day, you know, was just like, man, if these people can do it, I can do it. But I also knew some people personally that, you know, for example, Mr. Aaron Burke senior vice president. He was a fifth grade teacher at my elementary school. So when he said that he used to work at all the I'm like, you used to work in Baltimore city. I was like, man, you can do it. I can do it. So for me, that was my vision. So I seen it right away because I saw someone that was where I was at and they made it to the top of the company. Right. Number three, you want to provide guidance and support. 
Listen, I'm not telling you to babysit your people, but guess what? Most people have been trained to become an employee their whole entire life. So by doing something new, they're going to have a lot of questions and just work with people. You know, you got to work with people because they're doing something that they never even thought about doing before. Most people, they might have, a, you know, I might want to own a business, but what comes with owning a business, most people just kind of give up on it, right? So offer that guidance, support, and that mentorship to your team. And you want to understand that you're going to be juggling multiple responsibilities because the bigger your team, the more people you have to attend to. But if you develop leaders and you duplicate yourself, you're not going to be so burnt out by dealing with all of these people. And that's why it's important to duplicate yourself because your team is going to grow and it's going to grow without you. And you can't be everywhere and you can't do everything all the time. Number four, encourage collaboration. This is very important. You want to collab with other teams. You know, you're, you, I tell people this all the time. There's been other teams that have kept some of my people around based upon the relationship that they had with those individuals. So it's nothing wrong with collaborating with different teams. And because at the end of the day, we're all one company. If someone has something great that they can bring in your organization, collab with them. If they can't bring anything good, don't collab with them. It's really that simple. I'm not telling you to collab with everybody, but I'm telling you to be open to collaborating because you don't want to be the only person where your team just coming to you. You know, what if my number one person looked up to Mr. Thomas? Hey, go meet someone in his team and then get a chance to meet Mr. Thomas. And then, hey, you never know. You might get a chance to speak on one of the calls. And then from there you built the relationship. You know, same thing I'm doing. You know, I'm collaborating with other organizations throughout the company because at the end of the day, we're all ACN, right? So number five, embrace innovation, meaning that embrace the change. You're, listen, things change. You know, when COVID came around, a lot of people was like, man, how can I go digital? Listen, your phone is with you 24 seven. It's no excuses why you can't build a business. Your phone is always with you. So now us not always having to drive to someone home to share the business. You can just get on a Zoom call, 15 minutes. It's really that simple. I went out to the restaurant two days ago, you know, and it's funny. I went out to the restaurant two days ago. And as soon as I walked into the restaurant, I seen senior vice president, Ms. Chanel Burke. And I'm just like, man, it's a small world, you know. But we was just talking about the business, just talking about the different changes and how, you know, that we're out here networking and going out there and meeting different people. And, you know, she was having a one-on-one -on -one and I was having a one-on-one -on -one at the same restaurant. I'm just like, man, it's a small world. But guess what? We're out there doing the business. You want to be actively out there doing the business, sharing the business with people, right? But always embrace that. It's going to be a lot of changes. Things change. You have to change with it. You can't be the person that said, I want to go back to just doing house meetings only. No, still do that. But guess what? Now do the digital, do the social media, you know, go to different networking events, go meet people. You got to do something different in order to get something different, right? Number six, celebrate achievements. People want to be celebrated. And the reason why, because in corporate America, you don't get celebrated. You get, I don't even know the word. When you don't act right, what they do, put you on suspension or they tell you, don't do it again. You'll get fired. You know, just those negative things, right? But in this business, our goal is to do what? Celebrate achievements. So when someone hit a new promotion, when someone, you know, hit a new customer point, anything that they do and they get an alert for it, celebrate it like it's a big deal. Why? Because it might not be a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to them, right? So again, it's very, very simple, right? And, you know, I was talking to uh, Mr. Jabri Clemens about this when we was in, um, what was that? Nashville. You know, we were just talking about, you know, things that it would take to build the business to the next level. And we always talk about just celebrating people. You know, people want to feel good. When people feel good, they do more work. So celebrate your people. So what we always done was we used to print out from the AC and Compass, um, the, uh, what is it called? Certificates. We used to get them printed out, go to the dollar store, put it in the vape and give it to a person. Even though it costs you a dollar 50 bucks to them, it means the world. It means the world. So to me, it's just celebrating people, making sure that people, if they do the work, guess what? Promote them, make them feel good. Because when you do that, they're going to want to go out there and do more work. So that's small victories, big victories. You want to create an atmosphere of people just celebrating people. Because for us, that's what changed my business. Because every week, people couldn't wait to get promoted. 
So when you got people that's motivated to get to that next promotion, guess what happened? Somebody got paid. So every time there's a promotion, someone in the organization is making money or they got a raise. You want to focus on celebrating achievements. Number seven, empower with training and development. I say the best for last. You want to invest into training and developing your team, meaning that you want to have a team that's just trained. Just think about the military, right? Do you think anyone can just sign up and just say, you know, I'm going to join the military and then next week, you know, I'm going to war. No, you got to go through, you got to be battle tested. You have to be trained. That's why everything have training. Think about your job. When you first started your job, did it just throw you up there? No, someone had to train you. So with ACN and network marketing, it's no different than life. You got to get trained. And the better you're trained and the more training that you get, guess what happened? The stronger your team is, the more money you make. Listen, the reason why we're still making money to this day because the system is still working. People are still getting trained. People are still getting customers. People are still signing up new people. People are doing the business. So as long as you do the business, you will get the results. It's literally that simple. And that's going to be the only way when you're going to be able to develop where you have leaders now that take ownership of their business. You want people now to have their own teams. You want to have teams inside of your own team. You want people to take full responsibility for their business because just think about it. When you feel like you own it, you treat it different. Just think about how most people, when they get a rental car, they're speeding, they're doing all kinds of things in a rental car that they normally wouldn't do in their own car. Why? Because they don't have no ownership. So if you own it, you feel like this is yours, you're going to treat it different. You're going to care about your people. You're going to actually want to help your people. So you want to duplicate that with your organization where you now have these trainings that's very important. If your team is not getting trained, if your team is not in front of the room doing the trainings. I was just looking at the, we have a regional coming up. Our RVPs is on that. They're training. You want to develop leaders that's training, that's in front of the room. Because guess what they're going to develop? Their own people that's in front of the room. And guess what happened? They're all a part of your organization. I'm just duplicating myself. It's not just me. You might just hear from me, but guess what? It's not just me. There's a lot of people in the background that's working, that's getting customers, recruiting people, and attending these events. Those are the three things that we do that make us money in the business. We help people get started, we acquire customers, and we get people trained. If you used to get good at those things, you'll be good to go. So again, to recap from what we talked about today, the first one, inspire with vision. Number two, lead by example. Number three, provide guidance and support. Number four, encourage collaboration. Number five, embrace innovation. Number six, celebrate achievements. And then number seven, empower with training and development. Those seven tips right there, if you just apply it every single day, it's only a matter of time before you start having success. But more importantly, you get a system. We always talk about the system, right? Because it's very important. It saves yourself time, energy, and money to do the things that you said that you got involved in this business to do. So if you want to have success, go out there, apply that system, and guess what? You will have success. But I can't tell you when you will have success. But I know that if you keep working it, it's only a matter of time before it works for you and your organization. So I pass the call back to you, Mr. Thomas, and I look forward to being back next week.